too sunny out there. It's got <laughs> quite a haze, but that doesn't mean our temperatures are cool. And Sean Ash is here to talk a little about that. And then also some severe weather coming later yeah, today. Yeah, potential. Now this kind of makes it a little more complicated hmm. because uh, here in Indy, we're in the low 70s, but you go up the road, Muncie, Marion, they're in the middle 80s. Huh. So warmer means a better chance for storms later today, Naomi. Let's show you first and foremost, live Doppler 13 radar, complex of thunderstorms, and it is weakening as expected. It's kind of running into more stable conditions. And uh, so then we'll just kind of wait it out. The energy with this system will still move overhead later today. We will get into some sunshine if you have cloud cover, albeit it may be just a little bit of sun, but I think it will be just enough to help bring on some scattered thunderstorms. But in between now and say four or five o'clock, there's plenty of dry time to enjoy. I mentioned the difference in temperatures, 82 in Muncie, 81 Marion, 73 here in Indy, and it's 73 in Richmond. And we do have this blanket of cloud cover. That will act as a friend. I know we want some sunshine here, but it will help keep the lid on the storm chances for several more hours. South wind at 6, dew point at 70. That is the sticky stuff here, and that's part of the forecast easily the next 24, 36 hours. Once again, this complex of storms, you can see the lightning strikes have greatly diminished since they're moving towards Champaign, an area that's relatively stable right now. So here's what we're thinking. Once again, it's going to get much warmer down across the Ohio River and points to the southwest. More instability, greater chance of seeing severe weather. But I want to stress, we're not out of the woods completely. We may still get some pockets of severe wind, but right now it looks like a better chance of that happening across the southern portion of Illinois, far southwestern Indiana. A changeable forecast here because there's still some question marks on exactly how much sun we're going to see and where that's going to take place. But the bottom line, as I've been telling folks that have been asking me on Twitter, is a lot of activities this evening. Fair game by 4 or 5 o'clock to start to see some storms pop up. May happen sooner up north where you're going to get warmer since you're already in the 80s up there. This is how it's going to play out. We'll keep that storm chance going through tonight and even into tomorrow morning. We could have another cluster of storms moving through. Afternoon forecast will call for highs here in Indy, gradually getting into the middle 80s. A few spots will come close to 90. Indians are in Tau, Weird Al, uh, as well as all that jazz over at the zoo here. There's a chance of storms. Can't guarantee it's going to go over your venue, but I also can't guarantee you're going to have a dry forecast this evening as well. In terms of the threat levels, I still think because of the moisture in the atmosphere, it's pretty high. Heavy rain and lightning, but there is the possibility of a few storms producing damaging wind here. We jump to tomorrow morning with Future Track 13. May have another little cluster of storms, but a lot of dry time tomorrow as well. And may get into a little bit more sunshine. We'll keep in the spotty storm chance on Friday. Light at the end of the tunnel will be a very nice weekend the way it looks now. Some sunshine around both Saturday and Sunday. Pleasant highs, pleasant air early next week before it gets a little more summerish here. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week with highs near 90. We'll have another radar check and forecast coming up at 1230, Naomi. All right, Sean, thank you. A ton of nutrients in a teeny tiny package. Up next, dietitian.